This video is all about why manufacturing a product in China is about to become almost impossible, particularly for small businesses. Now, I've manufactured hundreds of products in China for the last 12 years. I now have multiple factory owners telling me not to manufacture with them next year. Now, if you're already manufacturing a product in China or you're looking to start doing so, then this video is for you. I'll explain why now is absolutely the worst time to start producing a product in China. But first, please do hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it means that I can make more videos like this to help more people like you. Also, make sure you check out the links in the description. There's some excellent free resources that are critical for successful product development and manufacture just waiting for you down in the description. And do remember that my company, D2M, is always here to help with the heavy lifting and do get in touch to discuss how we can help design, develop, prototype and manufacture your product. So, we are about a month before Chinese New Year when millions of Chinese people travel back home for the celebrations. Sometimes they're traveling for 20 hours, there are massive traffic jams, all the trains are booked, all the planes are booked weeks in advance, the roads are absolutely crammed as all these people travel home for the festivities. And the factories have now started warning my clients that they're not going to get their workers back. They're very worried that the workers are going to prefer to isolate with their families and stay at home rather than be locked into factory dormitories anymore. You may have seen on the news there's been lots of lockdowns in China and lots of times where all of the factories have locked all their workers in to avoid them getting COVID. It's all part of the China Zero Covid policy. Now, the Chinese government has just announced an end to this policy. And this probably is why the government's backed down on it. They've already lost hundreds of millions due to manufacturing contracts being cancelled because of all the issues over the last few years. There have been all these factory lockdowns, all these area lockdowns and everything. People are really getting fed up with the fact they can't get their products manufactured and they're pulling out of China. But as such, the government's had to take action. The government can't afford for all these workers not to come back to the factories and get working again. They can't afford to lose more contracts. And so they've cancelled their zero COVID policy. Now, the problem with this is huge. But before I explain the problem, make sure you watch right until the end, because then I will share with you the solution to this problem if you're a small business who are manufacturing products or looking to manufacture products in China. And I don't want you to miss out on the solution. So the problem is this. If you reverse the COVID policy now like they've done, the Chinese population have no natural immunity, as very few of the population comparatively have actually had COVID. 10 million people in China out of a population of 1.4 billion, according to the World Health Organization, have had COVID. Now that's less than 1% of the population. And as we all know, the vaccines don't stop you getting COVID or spreading COVID. The vaccine reduces the death rate. But the population is about to enjoy all these New Year celebrations, travel all over the country in close proximity, and all the testing and quarantining, etc., etc., has all just been abolished. So what's going to happen is that millions of people are going to get sick and they're going to be off work sick or they're going to be looking after sick relatives. And it's going to take months before there's enough inherent immunity that the workforce can actually ensure the supply chains are solid and that your product gets made. Now, all the major news outlets are reporting on this concern about the lack of natural immunity and therefore all these people getting ill. But what no one's yet reporting on is what that's going to do to the manufacturing output from China's factories. And even now the government has reversed their zero COVID policy, we still don't know how many workers are actually going to risk returning to work anyway. They've been locked in factory dormitories often for months at a time over the last year. And how many people actually take the risk of coming back from Chinese New Year, we don't know. Now with this reduced workforce, big orders from big global brands are going to be prioritised and small businesses are going to be at the bottom of the queue for these manufacturers and for the workforce. Now just before I get into the solution for this, please do comment below if you've got any questions. I reply to all the comments rapidly and personally. Now the solution is this, if you're already manufacturing then seriously consider ordering another 6-12 to 12 months of stock 
right away. If you trust the factory and they tell you and you believe that they can actually deliver it in a sensible time frame, then it's best to get it ordered now so that you don't get caught out. Now, if you're not already manufacturing, then either source production elsewhere outside of China or get into production as quickly as possible in China, but with a significant contingency built into your time frames and ideally with a backup plan if you end up having to wait months for your order. Now, please do not leave new orders until after Chinese New Year. As I've explained, I reckon it's going to be an absolute disaster and you'll be waiting months and months because the workforce will not come back or will be sick or be looking after someone who is sick. High value products, big companies, they're going to hoover up all the most reliable workers. They're going to make it very, very hard for small factories and for small brands to get their product. Hopefully, if you can squeeze an order in now, then the factory can get a head start on it. They can order parts and materials and hopefully they've still got enough workforce to get your order produced before this all really kicks off. Check out the description, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.